Hello, faith leader, and welcome to break time today. Psalm 1825 says, to the faithful, you show yourself faithful. To the blameless, you show yourself blameless. Ah. So how we perceive God will actually determine how we will walk out our daily life. Isn't that amazing? If we perceive God as a harm, well, as a harsh, not harmful, but as a harsh God, typically we will walk through our lives in a harsh manner, in a judgment manner. If we, if we view God as a God that is filled with judgment, when he looks at you, that's all he can do is judge, 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 judge. judge. He judges every action that you make. You know what's going to end up happening? you're going to end up being the same way towards others. So I'm learning this concept. I read this the other day and I was just amazed by it is the way I treat others is a good example of how I view God. Just let that throw around in here. And this verse, I think, I believe really gives us that, that way of, if I'm faithful, that means I view God as a faithful God. Correct? When I view God as a faithful God, let's, let's make it even bigger than this. And when I'm in my workplace or whether I'm at home or wherever I'm at, and my God is a faithful God, man, I love that characteristic about God so much that his faithfulness is how I live, is through God's faithfulness. If I view God as a blameless God, as a God that loves, has mercy, and his, his whole mo God is love. If I understand the depths of that verse, God is love. I'm going to love others because I understand and I'm receiving continuously his love for me. So when I hear others talk poorly about God, typically something in the past has normally happened, you know, that they have a bad view of God. I always want to know, tell me about the God that you know. Tell me about your God, because I probably wouldn't want to know him either. And so when I think for this year coming up, 2018, and the day before Thanksgiving, what if we what if we took some time and energy into our daily walk and just expanded our view of who God is to the place that we no longer see him as a harsh judge. We no longer see him as an unloving father when we do something wrong. But we understand, we grow in his understanding of his of his mercy and grace. I, I pray and I hope that you understand how accepted you are in the Father's eyes. And when we see that, when we understand that, we're, then it just pours out of our life everywhere we go. We accept others. We love others. We care. We're compassionate. It can't be the other way around. It can't be, I'm going to wake up and be compassionate today, but not understand God as a compassionate God. You see? So the areas that you're weak, maybe it's, maybe it's just, a, it's just a, a, a flashlight shining and saying, know more of who God is because he lives in you. You, my friend, have such a blessed day. Walk.